Ikalala tabled an 8.7 billion rand budget on Tuesday afternoon. He said the money would be used for infrastructure development and job creation. The minister says he wants to do away with the perception that his department is a milking cow and this will begin with probing the exorbitant costs of ministerial residences. The manner in which this provision of accommodation is done currently is too exorbitant. And that's why we are saying we are reviewing that part. And that's why we are saying we will then be taking that process to uh, government processes, the presidency, and then cabinet committees and the cabinet eventually, and then make a, pri a, a public announcement. We are expecting that because the cycle of a cabinet is around three months or four months. We are expecting that in about three months we will give a detailed presentation on what is the future of these houses, whether it's affordable or not. On securing energy for government buildings, Zikalala says he will, by the end of June, advertise a request for proposal to install alternative energy as well as recycling water and waste management. The alternative energy proposal is set to generate over 3,000 megawatts of electricity and attract investments of 1.3 trillion rand. So we're working together to ensure that government uh, buildings, uh, we install in all of them uh, the, elect, uh, the alternative energy. Much attention will also be focused on the extended public works program to create job opportunities. Infrastructure collapse program or problem in the country are mounting and we are listening to the voices of our people in this regard. Potholes are too common now. Water infrastructure is posing a health risk and there are a number of other problems uh, emanating from the lack of maintenance on infrastructure. These difficulties are serious and we will not analyze them further, but we will have to ensure that they are attended to with speed. The minister says his department will work with parliament in the restoration of the buildings damaged by the 2021 fire. Zikalala also insists that the construction mafia will not be tolerated as its protection fee demands disturb public works projects and therefore affect service delivery. Ulelani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.